All right, Sinicia, what's up for um, your next fight? Talk about July 9th. July 9th, fighting for the uh, WBO World title against uh, Japan's champion, Tenkai Tsunami. Uh, I'm very excited. Um, I wanted to unify at 105 pounds, but unfortunately uh, that couldn't happen this fight. So um, I'm going to move back up to 108 and uh, face the world champion. Here in LA, Bank of California Stadium, um, I'm happy to be fighting at home. So um, you mentioned you're happy to be fighting at home. Let's. Um, what would it be like to fight at uh, Bank of California Stadium? You're fighting in front of a big crowd. Obviously, you know, COVID restrictions are gone already. Yeah. Full crowd. What's that going to be like for you? Oh, it's going to be exciting. Um, fights in LA are always are always fun. Um, fans are always loud, and 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 everybody now with everything opening up, everyone you know just wants to be there to to experience fight night again so it's going to be great um hearing the hearing the crowd the la fans and my friends and family and fans there is going to be awesome so i'm excited for it let's uh let's talk about your opponent what do you know about her and what does she bring to the ring uh, my opponent is a very good and tough fighter she's fought um she's fought at, at multiple weight classes she's even fought um I believe like at Bantamweight, Flyweight, uh, Light Flyweight, she's fought, she's faced um, a lot of Mexican world champions. Um, and even though they defeated her, you know, she went the distance with all of them and put up a great fight. So I know she's coming, she's coming to win. She's a very tough opponent. And she's very awkward. So I'm just uh, staying focused on the game plan of what I have to do to defeat that awkwardness. What's this preparation been like? This preparation's been great. You know, I went, I'm just, I'm happy that I just fought for a world title and I'm right back in there. So I pretty much just went right back into training camp after taking a couple weeks off. You, you mentioned you just fought for a world title. What's, what's it like for you? You know, you've already accomplished some of these, uh, you know, you've, you've achieved these world titles. Let's talk about that. Um, yeah, it's just everything I've ever dreamed of, dreamed of, you know, um, one world title at a time. I want to uh, become world champion in multiple divisions, 105 pounds, 108 pounds, and 112 pounds. So um, it's just great to be able to just start this world title journey. A lot of accomplishments. There's all. There's obviously. There's always more. There's always room for more improvement. There's yeah, always room always. for more. Are there any more goals? Yeah, you just keep improving every fight and, and keep getting better. You know, I never want to just because I have a world title and and you know possibly a second one on on July 9th. I don't want to get comfortable with myself and get comfortable with my skills because in every fight there's always something to improve on. I just want to continue to get better and better and better. This past weekend, one of uh, your uh, former opponents, uh, Marlene Esparza, she had a. Uh, Pretty tough fight. Did you see the fight? I did, yes. Uh, it was a very tough fight, and I believe it should have at least been a draw. Yeah. Should have at least been a draw. There was one of those scorecards that was, that was kind of wide, right? It was very wide, yeah. yeah. That, that, that didn't describe what the fight was like, right? Right, yeah. <laughs> she mentioned that, you know, hey, she's not going to chase you, but she, you know, she's just obviously she wants to keep going forward. But do you feel you're, you're going to meet with her one, one more time? Some, some yeah, time? we definitely will. I mean, I she knows I would give her the rematch now, but she wants to do her thing and I'm gonna do my thing and we're both getting world titles so we're eventually gonna gonna face and it's gonna be even bigger for the both of us and even better because we both have these world titles to fight for what do you have to say in closing what do you got to tell the fans out there don't miss it July 9th it's gonna be an exciting great card um, I'm working hard to put on a great performance for everybody so don't miss it July 9th live on the zone or get your tickets at ticketmaster.com thank you